Last week, my mom made a post called Keep the Volume Down. And it suggested that half volume is an acceptable limit f to not cause hearing loss. And the iPods now have a volume limit built into them. And I am here to show you how to do that. And I have several iPods that we're going to do this on. Now, for the classic, you go to your settings. And then it's there's only one settings menu, so it's going to be under volume limit. And then you go in and you adjust the volume like you would normally, like you're playing a song or music video, whatever. And you just set it. So I'm going to set mine at 50%. And then it goes back once you have hit the center button. But then now it's set. So what does, what does that mean that it's set? It when you play a song, it will only you can turn it up all the way, but as you can see there's a lock, which means all the way up is actually only 50%. Okay, great. Now. Okay, can you show us on the other one? Yeah, sure. Now, here is one on the iPhone. You turn it on. Go to your settings. And then it is under iPod. Volume limit. And then you slide the your finger across the bar, and that sets your volume limit. And then you just hit the home button or back. And now your volume limit is set like it was on the Classic. Okay. I also have one on the iPod Touch. Is this just like the iPhone or close? It's, it's close. You go to settings and music this time. Okay. And then you go to volume limit. And then the rest is the and same. And then the rest is the same. And that's it. Simple as that. And also, the uh, some, most other MP3 players that are from very recent, they also have the volume limiter built in. Now, I don't have any to demonstrate, but they do. Just so look in their instruction books. look in their instruction books, probably, and it will tell you tell you if it does. Thank you. You're welcome.